What is the temperature of outer space? Way out there, between galaxies, where there is only one hydrogen atom per cubic meter. Can an individual atom be hot or cold? Can it even have a temperature? It sounds a little silly to say an atom is 27 degrees Fahrenheit or something. But temperature really is a measure of the motion energy of an atom. If an atom is motionless, then it is at zero Kelvin. We don't say degrees Kelvin anymore. Now it can never be really motionless, so it can never be at exactly zero Kelvin. And it moves pretty fast, pretty fast as temperatures rise. At a tiny fraction of a degree above absolute zero, the atom is already moving at about one centimeter per second. For subatomic particles, the energy is often measured in MeV or GeV. An electron with one GeV of energy is moving close to the speed of light. And that corresponds to a temperature of 11,000 billion Kelvin. For a collection of atoms or molecules like a gas or a crystal lattice, the temperature of the collection is just an average temperature of the group. But of course, because of collisions and interactions at the molecular level, a group of atoms or molecules will distribute the total motion energy pretty evenly among the individuals in the collection. And if two or more systems are brought together, some motion energies from the hotter system will flow to the colder system until they are both at the same temperature. When you measure your body temperature using a thermometer, your body cools down a tiny bit and the thermometer heats up until the two are at the same temperature. Then reading the thermometer's temperature also reveals your body temperature since the two are the same. If we take a quantity of gas and enclose it in a container, the individual molecules in the gas consistently bang into the walls of the container, creating a pressure on the walls. We can do three different things to increase the number of wall collisions. Increase the number of atoms in the container by adding more gas or increase the motion energy of the atoms already in the container by heating the gas. This makes them go faster and increases the number of times that each atom hits the wall. Or we can make the container smaller, decrease the volume, so that the individual atoms have shorter distances to go to collide with the wall. This leads directly to the ideal gas law relating temperature volume, pressure, and quantity of gas. Snuck that one in on you, didn't we? <laughs>